I can't believe how quick we got into November and it's almost December. It's really hard to believe the end of the year is here. I am very excited though because it's a really beautiful moment to celebrate with your loved ones, your family, your friends. And it's the perfect moment of the year to get cozy and start, you know, to wear um, our delicious knits and also to eat delicious food. It's the moment of the year that I can't wait for sure because everything is so delicious, starting from the coffees and the hot drinks. I just love them. And I'm going to share with you guys very soon some of my habits. You guys asked me to share my entire knitwear collection, which I'm going to do. I already shared a few fall looks that I really like and it's already live so you guys can see my latest video. I have some of my favorite knits that I'm styling and also other pieces that I think are really good for fall. For some of you, even winter, if your winter is mild. And I'm going to be sharing as well some ideas on how to take care of these knits and make sure that they last for a very long time. Just so you guys know, next week I'm going to be sharing some of the knits that I got from Everlane. This is my very first order from Everlane, at least for, for sweaters. I did try their pants before, some jeans. So I'm going to be styling this cropped sweater, cashmere sweater next week. I will still do some Cezanne videos, of course. I'm going to the store and I'm going to do some try-ons. So even if I don't share a video on Sunday now, you guys can still see some try-ons on my Instagram, Mila in New York. Loving this shade of blue. I think it's so pretty. You guys asked me to try some other stores such as Other Stories, um, Naked Cashmere, Arquette. So I'm planning to get a few pieces or just go to these stores if they're available here in New York. I have to check if there is a store in New York and then I'm going to do some try-ons for you. But in the meantime, I wanted to share Everlane, Everlane pieces because it's been a while since I wanted to try their pieces. I'm also going to share these pants, which I thought they were very cute, especially the color. I thought they were really beautiful. This sweater, which I think is new in their collection, but I fell in love with the color. I just had to try. It is so soft. I also ordered the Alpaca Crew, which I think it's been there for so long and I was so curious to try. I actually got it in two colors, also this beautiful green one that I saw from Dearly Bethany video and I really wanted to try. So these are some of the Everlane pieces that I'm going to be styling and reviewing next week. So if you guys like that kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and to give it a thumbs up because it helps my channel so, so much. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm so, so happy to be here today sharing some of the Cezanne pieces, the latest ones that I purchased and I wanted to share my thoughts on fabric, fit, style and everything that you guys want to know. And I'm also going to be linking everything below as well as some gift ideas. So if you guys are looking for gifts to give to your loved ones now during Thanksgiving or during Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate, I'm going to be listing some of my favorite pieces, not just clothes, but also small gifts such as socks and also jewelry box, wallets, and some more affordable pieces that Cezanne has, as well as some other brands that I've worked with, even other brands that I just really admire and I really like, I would love to receive as a gift or give as a gift. And talking about gift, I wanted to mention real quick to you guys about Rose Forever New York. I had a review about this before and you guys probably saw these roses are going to be on sale they're gonna have 60% off and I think it's a gorgeous gift to yourself or just to give to someone that you love Rose Forever New York has these beautiful bouquets and they have that in different styles as well different colors and also different boxes they have velvet they have acrylic which has a little drawer that's so cute these they last up to a year, but I've seen reviews of people saying that this lasts even longer than a year. So definitely a gorgeous gift. You can also use my code for a discount of $25 off. 
So you're getting the 60% off that they are already offering during the Thanksgiving sale. And you're getting also $25 off. Now we're gonna get started with our review for this week. So I am starting from this gorgeous jumper, this gorgeous sweater, which is called the Aretha jumper. And it's this beautiful green. I don't know why, but I missed on this one on the website when they released. I didn't see this before. I had seen in a beautiful baby pink, like powder pink, but pink is not really my color. So when I saw the green, I really wanted to try. It's not super bright. I think it's a nice shade of green. Uh, it is coming, yeah, on the screen pretty much as it is in real life. Hopefully we, we have the same color because each screen just shows differently. But I love this stripe detail in just texture. It's not color, it's just texture. I think it gives such a beautiful texture to the sweater. The sleeves are really massive. They're huge, they're very ballooned, as you can see on the mod shots. So I know this is not for everyone, but I think it's such a beautiful piece, very romantic. And if you like that style, I think it's perfect for you. It also has this beautiful boat neck, which I love. When you compare V-neck, turtleneck, um, mock neck, boat neck, this is my favorite one. I think it's just so flattering. The sleeves, they are not, when it comes to the puffiness here on the shoulder, I don't think they're too massive. They just get really big at the bottom. So I love it, but it's really personal. It does have a little bit of excess fabric at the bottom. So sometimes it can be hard to tuck in depending on what you're wearing as, as bottoms but I like the size small. I think it fits fine. It does have a little bit of itch. It's not super itchy, but it does have a little bit of itch because of the mohair. So the fabric content is 34% kid mohair, 34% wool, 27% polyamide, and 5% elastane. So in my opinion, it's really flattering. It's a beautiful niche, and they have it in other colors. So I'm very excited about the Aretha jumper. I don't know why I didn't see this before. It's such a beautiful knit. And now the next piece I wanted to review is called, well, I think in French is Ludivine, and in, in English is Ludivine, which is this camel um, sweater with those polka dot gold, you know, I think this is actually rose gold. It's not gold, it's definitely rose gold. It has a pinkish, tone to it so it does feel like a texture it's not something that's made out of fabric or thread it's just like a little I don't know what that is but it feels like paint <laughs> you know I'm wearing the size small I do think it's a little bit too big for me I feel like the extra small would have been better unless you like something super oversized I would say to size down but the color is really pretty I love how the the dots go with the the camel i think it's a beautiful combination this one is more itchy than the aretha jumper that i just showed and it's 33 percent polyamide 32 percent wool 32 percent kid mohair and three percent elastane it is a beautiful knit like all Cezanne knits i i don't think i've ever found anything that didn't look pretty when I don't keep something, when I don't order something, it's mostly because it's not my style or it's just something that I don't need or I have something similar. But in general, to be honest, everything is just so beautiful. I love the straight sleeves. I think that's pretty easy to wear and you can just pair with so many different bottoms. So it is a beautiful niche. I'm not keeping this one. I just didn't feel 100% about it. I don't know if it's the dots or if it's the crew neck that it's not my favorite. So you see, this is crew neck, but I don't know. There's something about James jumper that I just love so much that I just ignore the crew neck and I love it. But for Amaya jumper, for this one and a couple others like Comb jumper, I think the crew neck is what didn't really sell me, you know, to this sweater. <laughs> sell this sweater to me so it's beautiful if you're looking for something with this tone i highly recommend it is a little bit itchy so just keep that in mind and for this one i would either stick to your usual size or size down now the next one is such a beautiful beautiful piece it's the gilly skirt i have been waiting for this skirt you guys for so long if you saw my latest video you know that i ordered the 
beige one, the model beige, and it was too small for me. It was size four. So I this time I ordered the size six or 30, 38, which I would say I'm always in between four and six, 36 and 38. And the 38 definitely fits me better. Um, I feel like there is enough room for my hips. It doesn't feel too tight. The only problem is that it's very loose on my waist. So when I take the belt off, you will notice that there is a huge, huge, huge gap on my waist. And this always happens because I have a small waist compared to my hips. I feel like when you put the belt on, it definitely makes it better, but it's still not a perfect fit for me. So if you have similar measurements, I would say give it a try. Maybe that won't bother you that much, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm keeping the skirt, although I think it's so pretty. I love houndstooth, love this fabric. I think it's just so gorgeous for fall and winter and really any time of the year because it's black and white. You can just wear this with so many tops. I can see this with white, with black, of course, with something like a pop of color, such as red. Even if you don't like a red lipstick, you can still play around with red shoes or red uh, handbag or yellow. I think that would be so gorgeous or green. Just like so many options. So the ghillie skirt is definitely beautiful. I wish they had a tiny bit of elastane because that would have been a perfect fit for sure. If you have a more straight figure, I think this would be fantastic for you. If you're more on the curvy side, depending on your measurements and how you like the skirt to fit you, um, I would say I would be a little bit concerned. So I love this skirt. I'm still deciding if I should keep it or not. would love to hear from you guys what you think. And yeah, that's it for Gilly skirt. Uh, for the content, this one, just so you know, it's completely lined and it has 50% cotton, 35% wool, 13% um, polyamide and 2% other fibers. The lining is 30% viscose. So it is comfortable. This one does not itch. It doesn't really bother me. And I just love this skirt so much. I am inclined to keep, even though it's not the perfect fit, I asked my mom if we can adjust the waist. She doesn't th think we can because it's lined, but she said I can do a few things to make it better. So I would discuss that with her and I'll bring the skirt back once I do those things and then I'll let you guys know. Now I also got the matching jacket, which is called the Irwin jacket. They have a wheel jacket in this from past seasons. I saw someone wearing and I was just in love. I started to look for it everywhere. I even thought, I, I think I found one on Poshmark on sale. So you guys can run and see if it's still available. This jacket is so cute. I love, love this corduroy detail on the collar. And also the buttons are in corduroy, which I think is such a beautiful detail. On the back, you have another two corduroy buttons on both sides, so four the total. And you have this thing here that you can actually adjust and make it a little bit more fitted. I love that. I think it's such a good idea. It doesn't make a huge difference, but you can see that it does cinch a little bit. Okay, so I'm wearing this one in my usual size, which is size 436. The composition is the same thing as this skirt, I believe, but I would just double check. Yep, same exact thing. So I love this. It's not too thick, it's not too warm, but it's, you know, fall, warm, not for winter. I would say in early fall when it's not too cold, not too hot. Such a cute staple piece. I think houndstooth and black and white are just elements that you can't really leave your wardrobe without because it's just such a classic. And houndstooth is just gorgeous for fall. So I am highly, <laughs> inclined to keep this uh, jacket. It's not the perfect fit for me, I would say, because I have broad shoulders and wide hips. So usually jackets that hit on my hips, they make me really boxy. But I think because um, I just love the, the print so much, I'm going to keep no matter what. It's not going to show any of my curves. It might 
make me really boxy, but I'm not really caring about it because I really like the, the style. So if this was a little bit more cropped, I think it would be a lot better, like it would be a better fit. I could easily have gone the two, the size two, but it didn't have it available. I do think the two would have fit better probably although i never wear two to be honest i have very few pieces in two or 34 it's usually too small for me but because the the sleeves are fine and everything else is fine like it has an oversized fit i feel like the two would have been okay too but it's it's not available so i decided to get my usual size and i really like it i am wearing this with the skirt and also with pants so you guys can see what it looks like let me know what you think um, down below they're all linked by the way now the other ghillie skirt that i want to share real quick because i have a review on this one that i shared last week is this in model beige so this one i feel like it shows even more the excess fabric on the back like between my hips and my waist so the houndstooth i can get away with but i think this one is a little bit harder it is completely lined. It's the size 36, 38 or 6 that I'm wearing. That's why I'm sharing with you because last week I tried the size 4 and it was tiny. So I decided to get the 6. I sized up and it's fitting a lot better. But the same problem, I have a really huge gap on the waist. So again, if you have similar measurements, I would try just to see if it bothers you. But I do not think this is something you can easily fix because it's completely lined i know you guys sometimes tell me oh it's so easy just bring it to a tailor but there's two things about that that i think not just for me but for most of you like some of you do not have a tailor nearby some of you live in very small towns and you can just go to a tailor very easily to do those adjustments uh, the second thing is it's not always doable like i know when we don't sew, when we don't know how to do something, it just feels like, oh, let's just take to a tailor and they would do it. They can do everything. Like they can make miracles. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a cut, you know, and, and you have to be okay with it. You just have to look for pieces that are actually for your body type. So... Sometimes it's just an easy fix to take in the waist or do a pleating here and there, but sometimes it's just not something that's worth doing because first it might take a long time and a lot of work and it's going to cost a lot of money to, to be done and you might not even get the result that you expected, especially like for pieces like this. To be able to make this smaller, you would have to deconstruct the entire seam over here and make sure that this part is taken and the part inside. So you might not have a perfect result. And actually, there's three elements that I wanted to mention. So the third one is that it can be really expensive. Like this costs about $150 here in the U.S., if I take it to a tailor, I don't know how much more I would be paying. So if you have a $200 pants and you take to a tailor, we're talking about $250. Uh, are you willing to pay? So it's not always the easiest thing. I get that sometimes it's just, why not, not, why not do that? But just keep in mind that it's not something that everyone can do and it's not something that can be done all the time. And the last item I wanted to share real quick is the wheel jacket. So I am styling this one with the skirt and I want you to guys see this real quick because I was able to order the medium. I did share last week but I thought it would be cool to share again just with the right size of the skirt. So the wheel jacket is adorable. I love the style although it's very boxy. It is a really good length so it hides my, my hips and it doesn't feel like you know weird it doesn't hitch on my weird area like it doesn't go on the widest area of my hips and because of that it looks more flattering than for example Erwin so the wheel jacket is such a staple piece I think it's a very easy practical jacket everyone should have one in their wardrobe if you don't like that color I would definitely consider other colors they have. They have now a beautiful black, which I wanted to try. They have corduroy, they have denim, so many beautiful colors and styles. So I think the wheel jacket is a beautiful, beautiful piece. 
Now, we're getting to the end. Again, I'm going to be linking everything below and I'm going to be linking also some of my favorite pieces from Cezanne and other brands as well for gifts, just in case you guys are looking for some gifts, especially now during Black Friday. All these stores, except for Cezanne, I believe, they're going to be doing sales. So it's a really good moment if you're planning to buy those things to actually save money. If you're not planning to buy anything, that's totally cool, totally fine. But I thought it would be helpful to share. It was actually an idea from a beautiful follower, Teresa. She, Teresa, she is such a sweetheart and she has asked me what I would recommend as a gift. Like if you're trying to buy a Cezanne knit, which ones would you buy? So I told her I would try to stick to neutrals and fabrics that are not very itchy that will be suitable for everyone so i am linking below and also on my like to know platform you can just download the app and you will see all my looks there you can shop very easily all my looks and i think this will be a nice addition to these videos so if you guys like this content don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys have a beautiful thanksgiving have a wonderful week. Bye.